Shukuru Mungu. Kwa majina ni Timothy Kavila na nimeokoka na mpenda Kristo. Niko na mke na tumebarikiwa na watoto wawili wasichana. Eh, eh, usiulize hapo mbele. Seme tu kuna mikakati kabambe ya maisha. Haleluya. Uh, the Lord is faithful. Ningependa kushukuru sana uongozi wa kanisa kuanzia na makasisi wetu wachungaji Reverend Mwoki na Reverend Justice kwa kazi njema ambayo mnafanya kanisani Mtu akanena ya kwamba kama unataka kuona mbali inabidi usimame katika mabega ama mgongo ya mtu aliyekutangulia ndio uweze kuona mbele zaidi na hiyo ni ukweli kabisa. Ningependa niwashukuru wazee wa mji, the governing council of this church for the sacrifice that you do. Kwa kujitolea, kwa kujinyima ndio tuweze kutumika katika kazi ya Bwana. Ningependa pia niwashukuru vikundi mbalimbali. Kwaya zimeimba mahali hapa, kuna praise and worship, kuna Sunday school, kuna hushers those people make sure that the church is moving. Kuna watu on the background, they are working. You cannot see what they are doing. Na wanatoa masaa yao katika huduma. Bwana awatendee mema na Bwana awabariki sana. Hallelujah. Kwa kanisa mjipigie makofi mazuri. Just clap for yourself. Without you, each and every one of us, we don't have a church. We don't have somebody to preach to. Hatuna mtu wakuletea neno. Hakuna mtu wakumuimbia nyimbo zuri ambazo zinaimbwa katika ili kanisa. James Allen, a writer, wrote and he said, There is no duty is more urgent than giving thanks. So even as you move out there in your family, just appreciate what is going on there. And that the Lord shall bless us all. Amen. Mada yetu leo, our topic today is a strong believer for great impact. Mkristo alie kamilika kwa kazi yenye avari. Impact is avari in Kiswahili. Nimesema nitajaribu ili luga. I have always served in the English ministry. But the Lord is going to be faithful this afternoon. Amen. Yes, we are in afternoon. Tunasoma katika kitabu cha Warumi 12 stari wa 3 and 18 Mutaniruhusu tu nisome kwa Kiingereza For by the grace given me I say to every one of you do not think of yourself more highly than you ought but rather think of yourself with sober judgment in accordance with the faith God has distributed to each of you. For just as each of us has one body with many members, and these members do not all have the same function, so in Christ we, though many, form one body, and each member 
belongs to all others. We have different gifts according to the grace given to each of us. If your gift is prophesying, then prophesy in accordance with your faith. If it is serving, then serve. If it is teaching, then teach. The last one is, if it is to encourage, then give encouragement. If it is giving, then give generously. If it is to lead, do it diligently. If it is to show mercy, do it cheerfully. Let us pray. Baba, tunakuja mbele zako, tunalinua jina lako, adhuri leo. Tunasema, akuna mwingine kama wewe, Jehovah. Tumeinama tume mbele hako Jehovah tukuinue tukusifu na tukuabudu. Mungu wangu nena nasi wakati kama huu Jehovah. Na unitumie kama chombo chako Jehovah. Niweze kulinena Jehovah lile tu umenipatia. Tufungue masikio yetu tuweze kusikia unachosema Mungu wangu. Inulewa budiwa Jehovah tukuka katika maisha yetu. Na ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo tunaomba na kuamini. Amina. Ningependa kunena jambo linaitwa msingi. Foundation. Uimara wa jengo lolote lile Lina or is determined by the integrity of the foundation. Musingi wa wote wa nyumba utalifanya ilo jengo liwe imara hama lisiwe imara. Katika jiji letu Nairobi, tumeona manyumba zikianguka. We have seen buildings coming down. I think just the other day we saw one in Kamukunji. All that investment and everything put in it going down. And when we look in at it to realize kuna kitu fulani fundi akufanya inapostahili. So foundations are very key in every structure. And today I want to present two buildings. One is the building on the screen. This is a building in Dubai. It's called Burj Khalifa. Burj Khalifa, whatever name, based on Ulipitia Wapi Katika Shule. This is argued to be the tallest building right now on Earth. I've seen some argument that in Saudi Arabia, another one is coming up. We wait. But as at today, is Burj Khalifa. Ili wagarimu wana Dubai na viogozi wao Kenya shilling 150 billion 150 billion and in their argument they present that the foundation of this building quite took an amount and we have another building ya pili is due to it a Bujgani, but it's a building. Hallelujah. Kama ulilelewa nyumbani, mashambani huko, nilikuwa naona my hangos that time, walikuwa wanajenga. Uliita nini, Reverend? Kizuko, vingira. Unaeka tui around. I was once involved in building one. Matope tu na mchanga na mutu wanalala. That is still a building. Somebody ataingia hapo. We have two buildings here. One is the tallest building. And this is just a normal building somewhere in a village which accommodates somebody. These two buildings zina utofauti mkubwa sana tukiangalia kazi na umakini ulio wekwa katika kueka musingi wa hizi nyumbambili. Bwana yesu wa sifiwe. Nataka niseme hivi. Usingi wa jengo la lote lile, utakikisha mambo matatu. The foundation of every structure 
will determine the following. One, the stability of the structure. Kuimara wa jengo hilo utakuwa umehakikishwa kulingana na ile kazi imefanywa katika msingi. Jambo la, la pili ni the longevity of the structure. The durability of the structure. Ama muda abao ilo jengo litaweza kutumika bila kukua na shida. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na jambo la tatu ni matumizi, the functionality of that structure. Burj Khalifa or several uh, hotels, residential areas, there is so much in it if you go and do a research on it. So much happens there. And they make millions and billions of dollars. One time Hal Maktoum, who is the leader of that particular emirate, was being interviewed in the that is not just a structure, but it's a tourist attraction from all over the world. And that meant that the investment on the foundation had to be very key. Wakati Yesu alitembea humu duniani na wanafunzi wake. Kuna mambo mengi ambao aliweza kunena na wao. Lakini kama kuna jambo moja alinguzia na akasisitiza ilikuwa ni msingi wao katika kumjua yeye ni nani. Aliwafunza jinsi ya kukaa katika msingi ulio bora. Na huo msingi ni Yesu Kristo. Adhuri ya leo ningependa kunena juu ya msingi ambalo sisi sote kama wa Kristo tunasaili kuwa nayo ndio tuweze kukua na adhari katika dunia so that we can influence our secular world so that we can influence our community so that we can influence our organization so that we can influence our families we need to be grounded in the right foundation bwana yesu asifiwe anaponena na pita Anamwambia Peter I will build the church on you Peter na anamuita the rock and the gates of AIDS or hell shall not be able to prevail Jesus was saying something here Ya kwamba ndo tuweze kusimama na tumuonyeshe Kristo ni nani ndo tuweze kusimama na tupigane na mapepo ndo tuweze kusimama na tumwakilishe yeye kama Mungu tunastahili kuwa tumejengwa katika msingi ulio bora bwana yesu asifiwe anapoenda mbinguni katika matendo ya mitume fungu ya kwanza na msari wa ine. anasema wakati mmoja alipokuwa nao aliwapa aliwapa hamri msiondoke jerusalemu mpaka mtakapopokea ahadi iliyotoka kwa baba ambayo mmenisikia nikizungumzia do not leave Jerusalem until you are given the power on high and that power is the Holy Spirit. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ningependa tuangalie mambo matatu ambayo yanaashiria ya kwamba wewe ni Mkristo uliyekamilika. Wewe ni Mkristo ambaye amesimama three character traits of a strong believer. And I said this is the believer in Jesus Christ. Believer in the work and in the person of Jesus Christ mtu fulani akasema bwana asifiwe akaulizwa bwana mgani tunataka tujue ni bwana mgani akasema bwana yesu asema sawa hapo tutasema amina so tunaposema strong believer ni mtu anauliza believer in what is the believer in the work and in the person of jesus christ haleluya one of the character traits of a strong believer is you must be grounded on spiritual discipline ni lasma ukwe umepandwa na ikiwezekana usindiliwe kabisa katika mambo ya nidhamu ya kiroho spiritual discipline the health of a church is determined on how healthy the people in the church in terms of they are in terms of spiritual discipline Mali tuliposoma in Romans 12 and verse 5 nitasoma hivi 
hari kadhalika ndani ya Kristo sisi tulio wengi tunakuwa mwili mmoja yes we are many but we are one we are united we are many components but we have been united together by Christ bwana yesu asifiwe so we need to develop ourselves as individuals an organization is as strong as the individuals that make that organization a church is as strong as the individual members that make that church unapojitengeneza na kujiinua na kujitengeneza vizuri na kujimarisha na kila mmoja wetu anapofanya hivi tunapokutana kutakuwa na warmth for us to serve the lord in a greater way bwana yesu asifiwe tumesikia mara kwa mara in so many quarters ya kwamba where is the church when things are going wrong kanisa liko wapi and the what those people are asking is not where is ASU more as a structure but where are the individual people who are there because we want to see something from the people who go to church leo watu wamekuona ukitoka na gari yako tembea ukitoka kwa nyumba ukikuja kanisani when you go back they want to see god in your life bwana yesu asifiwe because you are representing the kingdom of heaven bingu linakutarajia kwamba utaenda kusimama in everything that you are going to be able to do and wanaongelea mambo ya nidhamu za kiroho and there are three things that are found in spiritual discipline one ni neno the word of god is one of the components of a spiritual discipline the bible is the voice of god and, the, and the therefore it speaks about the authority of god in isaiah 40 na mstari wa 8 unasema hivi majani ya kauka huwa la nyauka bali neno la Mungu wetu litasimama milele foundation that is eternal in Matthew 5:18 Jesus is speaking and he says not a word shall pass not even is it a stroke of the word of God shall pass telling you the magnitude the power that is found in the word of God wa Kristo kama tutakuwa na nidhamu ya kiroho ni lazima tuangalie mambo ya neno la Bwana we must be grounded in the word of God Charles Spurgeon, a minister who served the Lord in the 18s, he said this, visit many books, but stay and live in the Bible. Tembea, soma, all the books in your field, which is advisable, but ka katika neno la buwana. Buwana yesu asifiwe. Jambo la pili, which shows that you have a spiritual discipline, and that you have a character trait of a strong believer, ni mahombi. Mahombi. One of the tools that the devil uses to bring down a church, to bring down a believer, is lack of prayer. Kutokuwa mtu wa maombi. Ni lazima ujisukume katika maombi. Because prayer is a communication to the Lord. Prayer will do things that men cannot do for you. Yada Jacob prayer will change situations around you that no man no connection even the status connection will sort you out prayer can sort you out bwana yesu asifiwe we are in a fight tuko katika vita and some of the people that we are fighting with are not human they are spiritual they are demon they are powers that you cannot contend with the only thing in it to saidia ni maombi hiding yourself in prayer waking up first to connect with god before you connect with the world friends our businesses will thrive if we spend time praying for them our organization will take good shape if we spend time in prayer every assignment that we are in will be blessed because we pray and this is a character person who is grounded on a spiritual then the third one ni fellowship ushirika ukua tu na ushirika ushirika si wa neno ushirika si wa maombi ushirika tu wa nyama utaedia na niita tu uko uko tu ushirika tu wa nyama it's, 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 it's 
part of a character trait of a strong believer. Whereby we meet as Christian and we fellowship together. No nanga wa levi Fridays wa mejipanga. Anya aku anakuja na gari from Monday to Thursday on Friday gari natokea. Na kuambia uzulize mahali gari itaenda but kuna ushirika mahali. Ushirika uzulize ni anini but kuna ushirika. As Christians we need also to have some fellowship. Hallelujah. We need to find one another. We need to check how are people faring on. I met with a group that we go out for ministry sometimes back in an event. And then we realized we have not met because we are not going for ministry. Ukajiuliza kwani tunakutani shangwa na uduma. Then we realized we need to find another way of living. It's high time that we meet just for a good eating. Fellowship with one another. Do not neglect the coming together because on that opportunity, you or two, is when the word of God will be shared. Kwa hiyo chama yako with the people that do not care about God, it is a place of influence. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. We are talking about having an impact in the society that we serve in. The second trait ama jambo la pili ambalo linaonyesha kwamba huyu Mkristo ni imara na ataweza kukuwa na adhari is somebody who is committed to serve. Umejitolea huduma. Hallelujah. We have so many opportunities in the Church of God for ministry. We have opportunities in our music teams. We have opportunities in, in, in hospitality. We have opportunities in ushering, deacons, elders. Kuna opportunity ya kukua even an omsel leader. Hallelujah. I believe majority of us here belong to an omsel. Therefore, we need to revisit. We need to revisit about omsel. I know we are in a corona age. Everything has been disrupted. But the Lord is still on the throne. Hallelujah. And we need to find a way of connecting. So, there is a need to commit ourselves to serve. In Romans 13, the verse 8, in, uh, 12 and verse 7, it says, If it is serving, then serve. There is what God has deposited in your life. You can be a good musician. You can be a good usher. Now, you are comfortable. Let's take an action and stand up and say, God, I will serve you. You don't need the recognition for you to serve. Just come and serve. The Lord in his own way will pay you in ways that you cannot imagine. He will chase things from your life just because you committed yourself to serve. Hallelujah. Jambo latatuni, have a genuine care and love for. Kuwa na upendo alisi na kujali ya fuatayo. Have a genuine care and the love for the following. One, for self. Jipende wewe mwenyewe. Have a genuine love and the care for yourself. Jiangalia. You can only serve God when you are healthy. So you need to take care of your health as a, as a believer. Hallelujah. You need to take care of yourself. You need to eat well. You need to have some time to do some exercise. Aerobics. Join our gym. People say we don't have the time for that. But you need to take care of yourself if you are going to be a strong believer. If you are going to have an impact, eat well. You treat to jipeleke mali. It's a requirement for you to be. You need to love yourself. You need to have a genuine care and a love for your family. You need to take care of your family. Both nuclear and the extended. In the previous services, I said taking care of the extended family is easy. It's easy to take care of our nuclear family. But the extended family, we have an issue. Because there is always something. Something is not working. There is always a disagreement. It happens almost in majority. Not all, but in majority. But in that situation, we need to represent Christ. Hallelujah. In that situation, we need to say, I will not take this particular path. I will not take this particular way. Remember sometimes, back at home, we, we had a neighbor 
and we had purchased a particular piece of land. But there was a dispute of the place, a very small portion, like three meters squared. That guy told me, this one in the case, Kuba. He in the case, Kuba. He is here. You could. In your chief. I looked at how many uh, plants in Ayaza Panda have. And then I had to make a decision. It was a family big thing. Then I told the guy, I would like us to plant the Makonge right now. Take the portion. As much as we are paid for that portion, just take that portion. We will keep this other bigger portion. Up to today, he has not planted anything on it. Up to today, what am I saying? We respect one another. He's a hard guy. We respect one another. But above everything, we did not fight. It's bad when we find ourselves fighting over things that we can solve. It is not of God. We are going to let loose the three by three. We will have to let loose. I'm not saying lose your property. No. If there is a need to fight this is go ahead and do it. But there is need for us to say, man, I'm Christian and I know where, what I stand for. Take care of the family. Have a genuine care and love for the church. It's so easy to grumble and complain about the church than to pray about the church. If you see something that you cannot change, just pray about it. Take some time and fast and they pray. It's a way to show genuine care. The answer to your prayer will come from the Lord. He will work out things in ways that we do not know. Have divine care for the church. In our text we read about give generously. Just give. Not to the church, not to Wachungaji, not to the elders, but to the Lord. And also the other thing is have some genuine care and love or assume you are yes. Kuna nafsi zinapotea. Kuna nafsi zinaelekea jionamu. But it is upon you and me to take care of those souls. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. We need to reach out to our colleagues that don't know Christ. Yes, they are critical. They are looking for a case whereby a Christian musician ametoka kuimba hizi nyimbo za Mungu anaenda huko. Ona aha. What do you say about this? That's what I meet at the workplace. They're always critical. But with love, say, I still love you. You we'll pray for them. God will open their eyes and they will realize, friends, this where we are in is the only way. When I say, if you will. Finally, brethren. Nikimalizia. In the con conclusion, after we have known what is required of us to be a strong believer that we love and impact in whatever capacity that we serve, then what do we do? Ufanyeji sasa, baada ya kujua ya kwamba, the world is counting on us. Friends, your family is counting on you. Whatever decision you make, will have effect on many things that we don't know about. Then, what do we do? To fanyeji sasa in such a capacity. The first thing is, decide to follow Jesus. Kama utakuwa mkristo mkamilifu, amua kumfuata Yesu. It is not just one day decision that today I got saved. No. It is everyday process. I am following Jesus no matter what. It's a song that goes, I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. Amua to follow Jesus. If your foundation is going to be Banj Khalifa, if your foundation is going to be strong to influence the world, you have to make a decision to follow Jesus. Joshua ametoka na majama from the land of slavery. And the Moses leaves 
and he gives the mandate to Joshua. And Joshua anaangalia the Israelites and they have started worshipping the idols. They are worshipping the idols of the Canaanites. They are worshipping the idols of the Egyptians. Wako hapo, they are confused. Anaambia majama in Joshua 24. Remember what God did. Remember venye aliwatolea machi kwa rock. Remember how we fed you with manna, a food that you do not know, that you cannot explain. Remember how he took care of you in the wilderness. How we fought against Pharaoh. And today make a choice of whom you shall serve. Joshua alikuwa amechoka na majama. The Lord has served and he tells them, guys, make a decision. Decide to follow Christ. Live the life that Christ wants from each and every one of us. Joshua anasema hivi, nanyi mkiona ni vibaya kumtumikia Bwana. Chagweni hivi leo. Today mtakaye mtumikia. Kwamba ni miungu ile ambayo baba zenu waliitumikia ngambo ya mto au kwamba ni miungu ya wale wa Amori ambao mnakaa katika nchi yao. Lakini mimi, somebody say mimi na nyumba yangu tutamtumikia Bwana. A decision. I will serve the Lord. There will be deals that will come to you. Unaona hii kweli hii si ya Mungu. We always come across these things. Hii si ya Mungu. But there is a promise. Hii ukipitisha tu hivi, jina yako hapo mbele itaongezwa kuomoka. Fulani aliyeomoka akipitisha. But unaiangalia hakuna Mungu. What will you do at that time? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. This is the purpose of coming on church on Sunday. is to remind one another where we stand. Joshua is telling the Israelites, make a decision. Will you take care of the people that the Lord has put in your care? Will you remember the disadvantaged? Will you put a budget for the people that need your help? Because you are in a position, but they are not in a position. Decide to follow Jesus. The second thing is, Constantly remind ourselves on the calling that we have. Kila wakati tujikumbushe. Kuna kumake the decision that we began following, but we need to constantly remind ourselves on who called us and why he called us. There will be temptations to live the way. There will be moments of discouragement. There will be moments that you will feel like, ah, this thing is not working. But constantly remind yourself why the Lord has called us. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Praise Jesus. In Joshua 1:8 we read, do not let this book of law depart from your mouth, but meditate on it day and night and be careful to do what it says so that you may be successful and prosperous. Kuna hadi ya baraka. Kuna hadi ya kuinuliwa. But the thing is, constantly remind yourself on the promises of the Lord. When I saw if you were I finalize, evaluate the journey that you've taken with the Lord. Evaluate the journey that you've taken with the Lord. For you to be a strong believer, there must be instances in your life Mali unakaanga chini unajiuliza niko wapi. When you evaluate the journey, then you are able to go back kama ume. If you have left the path. We begin projects. We have done projects many kinds as individuals. And at one point, inaeza fika mali, ukachoka. Kona, this thing will never work. This company will never go where I want it to go. But you evaluate the journey. How has it been? Even when time you are doing every harvest, it is important to ask yourself, why did I get what I got? My farmer, in a small way, one time, Lilipanda, Lilipili, Long Cayenne. And I put a lot of investment on it. A lot of investment on it. The produce was not 
what I expected. And what goes on around it, including getting it to the market and the procedures, was not what uh, I was not prepared for it. So when the dust settled, it is settled. project, I got discouraged. I give up. Uh, Continued in my work. I met a friend and he asked me, Why did you do that what you did? Were you just gambling? Were you just trying? What was it? And he took me through his own life. I was admiring what he was doing. He takes a produce and we have candles on his shamba on a beba product. And we are talking of good money. And they told me about. They went back, and I'm still going on. When else was if you evaluate the journey, how did you begin? What is happening? Are you doing? Are you practicing the discipline that the Lord has brought you to you? in your capacity that you serve in the church as a choir member? Are you still committed, or have you given up? Say, guys, even you are still a member of that team, and they will give an account. I'm no longer in the archery. I'm no longer doing this. Everybody at one point in life, you always get to that point. But you need to evaluate the journey. Friends, I want to appreciate God for all of you. And it's my prayer that as you leave this sanctuary today, and as you go out there to tackle the issue that is before you in life, in your business, in your organization, in a small way, whatever you do, that you shall have a godly impact in the world that you serve. That people will see you. That people will say, this is God. This is God. They will bypass your organization. They will bypass your duties. And they say, this is not just about duty. This is about God. It's my prayer that each and, each and every one of us will be able to do that. May the Lord bless us as a church. May the Lord lift you. May the Lord build you. May the Lord bless you in every way and expand you so that you can be useful in the work of God for men. Father, we thank you and we worship you. Thank you, Lord, because of your word that has come to our ears. The Lord, we need to be strong so that we can be influential in whatever we do. That we can have an impact, God, in every assignment that we have. I pray, Lord, for every person in this sanctuary and the many that are following us from various God the arenas, King of glory. That you are going to remind us on who we are and who we belong. You are going to bless us and expand us, God. Because, Lord, we are connected in you, we shall not beg. We shall not fail. We shall not be an object of shame. We shall serve you in excellence. We shall serve you, God, in a way that brings glory and honor to your name. I thank you, Lord, because of each and every father in this place, each and every mother, each and every grandfather, each and every young man, each and every child who is in this place. The Lord, your grace is going to be sufficient to change and to build us, to be who you want us to be, King of glory. I thank you because of the leadership of this church, God. By Father, our reverence, Lord, that you may bless them, that you may equip them, Lord, even for the great job that is ahead. The council, Lord, the various teams, King of glory, the congregants, King of glory, it shall be well with our lives because we depend and my father we are focused on you. We have made that decision to follow you. Bless us and guide us. And it is in the name of Jesus we pray. And everybody say, Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless this church. God.